I am drink. talking to you about how prayer helps us to win souls. How prayer helps us to win souls. Hallelujah. Aside calling people, aside visiting them, how prayer can help us to be effective in soul winning. Don't forget the scripture says it's not by mind, it's not by power, it's by the spirit. Now if the scripture says it's by the spirit, how do we engage the help of the spirit? We can engage the help of the spirit by prayer. Because the Bible says in Luke chapter 3 verse 21, as Jesus was being baptized and was praying, the heavens was opened and the Holy Spirit came down. So the spirit of the Lord is released on the harvest of soul winning whenever we engage the altar of prayer. Somebody shout prayer. Now, how many of you want some people you know to be saved? How many of you want to go to heaven alone? How many of you want to go to heaven with your mother? So it's not about mind. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. It's not about mind. Now, you can win a soul with your mind. I warn you. To God. I warn you. Be born again. What said or no? That's what our mothers do, right? Isn't it? Now, have you realized that your parents have beat you about your blood change? They thought pity could change you, but have you changed? Genuinely, have you changed? That's in, that's in, that's in what you know. <laughs> Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, quickly, please. It is not by might. Might means strength. Now, I'm talking to all of us because we are all soul winners. How many of you believe you are a soul winner? Oh, you want to go to heaven alone, right? You, you, want, to, you want your husband to be to go to hell. Husband to be Then he said to me, This is what the Lord, this is what God is saying to Zerubbabel. Now Zerubbabel was building the temple of the Lord, and the Lord said to now the temple stands for us in the old testament. The fiscal uh buildings were temples, but in the new testament, we are the God's temple. We are God's temple. And now the Lord was telling Zerubbabel that I know you have begun to build me a tabernacle, but Zerubbabel, you can't build this by your might. And you can't build it by your power. You can't build it by your strategy. But by, 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 say, say, by my spirit. So it is by the Holy Spirit people change. It's not by what you know. Who sound? No couple change. We will not change. People will not change by that. People change when the Holy Spirit is released. Luke 3 21. And Jesus being baptized and was praying, the heavens opened. And what came down? The Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord came. So prayer invites the Holy Spirit to come down. Yes. How many of you have brothers who are stubborn? Or girlfriends who are stubborn? Okay, one was 25. Now I'm talking about the help of the Holy Ghost or how prayer can help you and I to save souls. And now we have established a fact that nobody can save a soul by our mind. By human strategies. That's what the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. You can never change a man because you did not create a man. Let me repeat it. You can never change a man because you did not create the man. That is what the Lord said to Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, you can't do this by your mind. And you can't do it by your power but by my spirit why is god saying by his spirit because in the beginning god created everything by the spirit so if you want to change everything you must change it by the spirit how many of you genuinely want some people to change but they are not changing they are not changing because you have not changed here in prayer yeah now when elijah was praying on mount camel in as much as the lord told him that he was about to send rain did god send the rain now God said to him, I'm about to send rain. And the man repeated the prophecy to the king Ahab. God says he's about to send rain, so go ahead of time. But listen, it was good God said, and it was good he repeated. That it was something he needed to do for the, for the manifestation of what God has said. And the man went on Mount Camel, prayed. That's what the Bible says in the book of James. That Elijah was a man subject to life passion, but he prayed earnestly. He didn't just pray. But the Bible says he prayed earnestly. Look for the meaning of earnestly. Now the reason most of us, our prayers are not working is because we don't pray earnest prayer. Earnest prayer was earnest prayer. Some of us, we just pray, Father, you know, you got to save them. If not, they got to go to hell. Hey. You got to, got to. 
Come to God. We don't pray such prayers. You may come. Be in the position of how Elijah prayed. Quickly. This is how the man was praying. For it to rain. In as much as God has said, go on the platform, please. Go on the platform. Hannah wanted a baby. Baby Samuel. She went to church and prayed. She prayed up to the point that even the man of prayer said, You are drunk. Are you getting me? A man who prays is telling another person praying that you are drunk. That means this is not a kind, this kind of prayer. That I know, I know, I know. I know they see when you are like you. I know they see any prayer like this before. What kind of prayer this? This is how a man was praying. He would pray like this. Ching, ching, ching. That's what the Bible says. The effectual fervent. Effectual number one. Fervent number two. Prayer of the righteous. So you, you, as much as you are praying, it should be effective and fervent. That means there should be energy. Power. Power. You don't just say, Father, you know, you got to change my dad. You know, you got to go to hell. I mean, if it doesn't change, it's my bullshit. But hey. And Elijah was praying. Yet he had told the king, go to rain. But he was doing what to bring the rain. So though you have told the soul, you will be healed. But after you tell them, you must go and do what to bring the healing. Sometimes, after a moment of hope, I come to my room again and I travel again, 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 again. As soon as Zion traveled, he brought forth. There are things in you, there are, there are souls in prison, there are souls in addition. It is traveling prayer, it is traveling prayer. Travel. As soon as Zion traveled again and again, you don't pray once to see results. You pray until the results are in. Many of you have stopped praying. Me won't say. And there's someone who will be. And that's what does it mean? With sincere, intense conviction. That's what, that's what, that's what the Bible says. The earnest prayer. And Elijah prayed endlessly. That was with sincerity. Are you sure that you want people to be saved? So sometimes, even in prayer, God checks your sincerity. Are you sure? Do you know some of us will pray with religiosity? I said, I'm about 15 minutes. Before. So you just did, but not out of what sincerity. What do you think? So now I've established the fact that nobody can win a soul by the human strategy. We need the help of the Holy Ghost. Right? All right. That is why people come to me and say, Pastor, I've, I've tried to stop this masturbation. I can't. You can't stop a spirit by human strategy. You can't. You, you are trying to stop masturbation. You can't. The weapons of our warfare, they are not coming. But they are mighty through God. So the spirit of masturbation does not come out of the soul you are trying to win by. We are Hey. When you research our ears and our baby to know. Most people into masturbation can tell you, boss, don't can minimal. So we are masturbation in the bell. Do you know that many people know the side effect of whatever they are still doing it? Because they don't have the power to control it. Yes. But the moment a man begins to pray, engages the altar. Now, do you know what it means? The moment you are praying, you are relegating your, your strength and you are telling the Holy Ghost, I can't take over. Yes. Anytime you begin to pray, it, like instead of you two, what do I say? Oh, hey, we It doesn't change them. But the moment you start mentioning their name, that's what Apostle Paul said, I make mention of your name in my prayers. Almost all the letters Apostle Paul wrote, he mentioned prayer that I keep mention of your name. I keep mention of your name. I keep mention of your name. Simon, Sa uh -huh. Simon, Satan has asked to sift. Satan has asked. So there are some of you in the spirit. Satan is asking to give you kidney failure. Yeah, he's asking. Now look, let's we want to go. Simon, 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 Simon. Satan has asked all of you. Oh, that means your kidney, your bottles, your anus, your penis, your everything. Satan will never demand half. 
look at what Jesus is saying. And meanwhile, Peter was working with Jesus. And yes, Satan was making demands. You understand what I just said? Only you know now. And so that's that one some air panel. Now when I want to start in Nancy and Uswe. Do I get in Kwan and I'm not going to get in Kwan? Now when I want to. Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to have all of you, you and to sift you. you like now, how many of you know sift? If any lady doesn't lift their hands, you have to go back to your mother's kitchen and know what it means to sift. Okay, let me add like wheat. How many ladies know how to sift like wheat? I, Father, help, help thou thy children. And you're going to make sure you YouTube over here. Verse 32. <laughs> Verse 32. Now, Satan has asked to have all of, all of, all of. So, all the souls we are battling to win, Satan has asked to have them. And he has them. But how can we bring them out of the grip of Satan? Now, look at what Jesus did to bring. Now, Everybody look at me, 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 look at me. I like your beautiful eyes. So, wait, 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 like, sit like, wait, 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 beautiful eyes. Oh. Now, I am Jesus, so I'm God. I'm working with my servant. And Satan is also working close by to ensure that this servant of mine becomes his servant. And that's what is happening. And that is why even some of you, after coming to church, you still go back to have sex. Yes. You are working with him, but you are still working for Satan. So some of you are working with God, but we are working for the devil. That is why you still still at the workplace. Yes. You are serious. You are a thief. The thief came in about to steal, to kill. Anyone who steals is a killer. Because if you are stealing from a company, it simply means you want to collapse it. So Satan has three pipes, steals, kills, and destroys. Anyone who steals at somebody's workplace, you are stealing, you are killing the business, and you are going to destroy it. And you are Satan's servant. Yes. Imagine Jesus working with him, and you will tell Peter, go and preach to the soul, say, preach, I'll give you power. And Peter, no money, say, preach preaching power. Quickly, quickly. Uh huh. So he's is it not working for me? But Jesus said to Peter, Satan has sought to have all. So that means the way I have possessed you and the way I am using you, Satan also wants to use the same mouth you are using to preach. He wants to see they use the same mouth to lick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is why a pastor can stand and preach a little and sleep with members. Oh, am I preaching? Let me close. Verse 31. Verse 31. That is why many choristers are still watching Pono. Do you know why? No, do you know why? Simon, Simon, Satan has sought to have all. All means all. I beseech thee, therefore, brethren, that you may present your body. So the same body you are presenting to God, Satan wants you to present it to him. So he said, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to use the mouth you are using to sing to glorify God. He wants you to use it to lick a lady. Oh, yes. Don't do this. I'm preaching. So if God is not taking, you may be saying, Jesus loves you, and the next moment you are lying. Oh, yes. The next moment you are lying. The same hands you are doing, we clap by prayer. That is the same as if care is not taken, you'll be using it to insert your private part. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Satan has asked all of you and to sift you. So after he gets you, then he begins to sift you, to waste you, to kill you, to destroy you. Satan has asked. So being in church is not enough. Being in the choir is not enough. He was with Jesus and Jesus with you. Peter didn't even know. He didn't even know. Jesus rather revealed. So some of us, you don't even know that you are being used by the devil. You know, you know, you think now we call lie strategy. Now, people say, What sin do people say you are wise and you are smart? We are turning sin into strategies and wisdom and foolishness. 
Satan has asked. So this same person working for the Lord can be working for the devil at the same time. Yes. And there are many people Satan has taken possession of. That God is now there are two things. There are many people who are not yet who are yet to be born again, whom Satan has taken full possession of. And number two, there are people who are already in the kingdom, Satan is still using. That is why some people don't fear God. You are counting church offering, you take some. Oh, yes. Imagine as a preacher, I'm done, a lady, a Lois comes to visit me, and I come in my bedroom, I finish with her. The next person I finish, the next person I finish. Oh, yes, it happens. Don't do it. Oh, man of God, it's not possible. That is why Jesus told the disciples. Pray that you don't fall into temptation. A prayerless person is bound to enter. You will enter temptation without knowing. You will enter the temptation of fornication. When you are prayerless, you become temptation full. You are full of temptation. It will shock you that you will sleep with a baby girl. Is it not amazing that the Judas who was thinking of Jesus, Jesus' money. Now Judas, you know Jesus, the money he has. You were able to sell Jesus 30, 30 pieces of silver compared to the money in Jesus' account. What did you see in your money that you didn't see in Jesus' money? When Satan enters into you, he seizes all your senses and uses you against your purpose. So, do you know what the Holy Ghost just told me? Any prayerful person becomes full of God and you become an intercessor of God. Oh, let me repeat it. When you become prayerful, when you spend more time with God in prayer, God fills you with Him in order for you to over overcome temptation. And number two, God makes you a God to sinners. Come. Now, when this guy spends more time in prayer, he is being filled with God in order for him to overcome temptations. Now, after God fills him with him, God, the next thing God does, God makes him a God to sinners. That's what the Bible says, ye are gods. Peter was a fisherman, but after he had looked chapter 14, chapter, uh, act, chapter 4, verse 13, the Bible says, these are the men who are being with Christ. They are being with the anointed one. When Moses climbed up the mountain, he went as a normal Moses, returned as a glorious Moses. So anytime you spend more time in prayer, you are being filled with God and number two, you are being a God to sinners. That's what the Bible says. When they, they said, these are the men who have turned the world. These are the men who have turned the world. No man can tell the world unless God fills them. So I can know the measure of God you have by the way you talk. So when Satan wanted to waste Peter, he sought him. There are people Satan has arrested. There are souls you and I are supposed to win. And we can only win the melody by the force of prayer. Not by the force of advice. You can't advise a demon-possessed person. You can't advise. What is it? We have a couple of the prison. I know a situation there. But in the team, you have to be in the same way. You have to be who have seen such cases before? They bring them out. The very day they will steal. Do you know why? When Jesus prayed and when the heavens opened, the Spirit of the Lord came upon and led him. So there are people who are being led to do what they are doing. It is not them, but there is a spirit in them. There is a spirit in them, not them. There is a spirit. There are ladies who can sleep with about 10 guys. I, I have, Listen, this will be say, I sat with a lady and she said, I was, do you know what I did today? I said, tell me your accomplishment in life. Hey. She said, Do you know that I just slept with three guys in the room at a time? And I pushed back and I said, Let's talk later. Yes, I just slept with three guys in the room, like, like they were doing me gala, and I knew that, and I didn't get tired. They were tired. I'm telling you. Recently on campus, a guy came to me, a guy came to me and said, Apostle, please pray for me. I can't control how they says. And I asked him, how did it happen? He said, when we were having uh, this school, uh, what's it called? Uh, in Taku, in Taku. And he met a girl from a certain school, no mission. He slept with her. That was the beginning of his sexual addiction. He said, he can be there, and a woman will come, like a woman from the sea will come to him. Yeah. 
And I, I remember him like yesterday. He, I met him at CCB. And he said, I want to talk to you about something. He said, in the day, I can sleep with three girls. In the day. And any girl I call, you can't say no to me. Oh, yeah. When I call, you can't say no. Many of you don't know how you slept. How you allowed the guy to sleep with you. Because the spirit in you was not strong to resist the spirit in the person. So you said yes. You only realize that. Ah. So you see, recently I was talking to Sewa. I think yesterday also. She posted on her status that hey, she regrets even dating certain guys. And you see, you will not see it because there is a spirit in you that has seized your senses, your sense of reasoning. So there are people we advise you to come out of a relationship and they don't see the need why they should come out of. Do you know why? There is a spirit in them that has blinded their understanding. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. The Bible says the God of this world has blinded them. Blind it. Why? There is a devil. So you are a pastor open to a band for sin. How long does the to me? I came. That's why you can just get up one midnight and just go and let anybody. One girl told me that me, when it comes, I can just stand and call any girl to have sex with me. When the desire comes. Here when it comes. Mary Madeline, whom he casted seven demons. If I tell you what one demon can do to a human being, it will shock you. But how can a man deliver such a woman from demons and make, make her a disciple? What was the secret? Jesus will wake up a great one before day. A great one before day and prayed. And prayed. So he became prayerful means he became full of God to the point that everywhere he stepped, the demons knew that God has come. So anytime you become prayerful and when you go for soul winning, when the soul see you, do you know why sometimes they give you some such response? Do you know why? How many of you are here? People used to come to you and you, you hated them for no reason. Do you know why? There was a spirit in you that didn't like the light in them. So you don't even have an excuse why you, you hate them. When people knock on your door, yes! Do you know why they shout yes? Yes! They think it's a preacher. First thought. It's a preacher. Made on pest. Okay, brother, let me hear you. Am I preaching? Yes. Shake your neighbor and say the pastor is preaching. Yes. How many of you don't want to hear anything about church? Like, whenever somebody wants to invite you to church, you have several excuses for them. But you don't even know why. Aha. But when they say we are taking you to church, oh, there'll be me and Kaso. Oh, best mama of VIP station. Hey! Oh, there are people that are there. And do you know the funny thing? The very day you bring such people to church, that's the day God will visit them. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? amazing? And suddenly, like for instance, I will share a testimony of a lady, maybe a moment of hope. Like she poured her heart and boom. She was the one whose father was sat from work after serving 14 years. And he sat home for five years. And after a moment of hope, the father was called back to become a manager. She said, Apostle, I came. Do you know the song I love? Uh, my father, my father. No, in a testimony, I'll play it on Monday. She recorded. I was saying, you may kick me. My father, my father. Your cow say room. I come to my father, my father. But sometimes you wonder why people don't want to come to church. It's not them. There is a demon in them. When Mary Madeline was caught, please. Okay. The next morning, Jesus awoke a long day before and went out alone in the wilderness to. To pray simply means to fill himself with God. Wow. Anytime you become prayerful, you are filling yourself with God. How many realize that when you move, like the day you spend more time in worship and prayer, you move and there's a different atmosphere? How many of you have ever prayed to a point like, where is Satan? Eh? Where is he? Where is he? Man? Hey! You see, some of you, you, you don't pray, so you don't know that experience. You don't know. To be prayerful means to be filled with God. So that when you meet a man filled with the devil, the, the, because one must go, one must stay. That's what the Bible says. Whenever demons saw him, they reacted. So anytime you go on suing and people react, know that there is a demon in that atmosphere. Hey, that's what the Bible says. The demons started screaming, Jesus, set on us. They started screaming. So anytime you see people screaming at you, they, they know that ah, I got a demon here. Hey, once they see, in the name of Jesus, come out. Hey, hey. So winning, yeah, 
this dress down is not for life, it's for souls. I read it quickly. Not long afterward, Jesus began a tour of the nearby cities and villages to announce the good news concerning the kingdom of God. He took his 12 disciples with him, along with some women. He so the had women were also disciples. But let's look at these women. How did they become disciples of Jesus? It was through power. Power. They didn't just follow Jesus. That's why people don't just follow church. There is something blocking people from coming to church. Now, he took the disciples and some women. That's why Satan is fighting your prayer life because he knows that when you are filled with God, you run. That's what the Bible says. Uh, David said, my cup runneth over. Whenever there is a running over, there is a Lazarus. The Lazarus was sitting at the rich man's table. And anytime the rich man would eat, the ones who will fall from the table, Lazarus will pick it and eat. So anytime you run over, there is a Lazarus around you who must pick up and eat. So that means you must be filled with God to the point that there is somebody around you who is benefiting from the glory of God in your life. Your friends are still talking to you about nasty things because they see that you are not changed. You are not filled with God. You are not prayerful. So that's why they can still come to you and say, Charlie, about today, today they will enter me. The guy in Jai, you know, the guy enter me, my eyes, my ears, they all. Charlie, we need to shave your all. Guys, enter me, and the girl will say, "Now come one, 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 one." A Christo ni ba ne, two Christo ni ba. Another influence. Now come one, one, one for people. We. Me na dalo ko yon me me anche crowd. Boy, no me mane break crowd. No no no, guys, swaba, abesia. Hey, conversation, conversation, Christians. You see, when you are not filled with God, the devil will lead somebody to come and fill you with the devil. One way spirits are transferred is through the way you talk. Now when I talk to you for a long time, the spirit in me will be transferred into you. I can just look at you in a way and the spirit can jump into you. Yes, the words I speak to you, their spirit and their life. The words I speak unto you, unto. So I'm not just speaking to you, it's unto you. They are unto you. So if a person is not filled with God, the words they speak to you are words that emanate from the demons in them. That is why as a soul winner, you must be filled with fire. You must spit fire, you must talk fire, you must enter a room with an atmosphere. Luke chapter 22 verse 32. Uh -huh. But I have pleaded in prayer for you, uh -huh. Simon, that uh -huh. your faith should not fail. That your faith should not. So it was the prayer of Jesus that established Peter. And he became the apostle of the church. So there are people we must pray for because in the spirit they are prophetess, they are politicians, they are whatever. But when Satan gets hold of them, he can turn them from a prophetess to a prostitute. But your prayer can translate them from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. That's why the church in Acts chapter 12, the Bible declares that when they, uh, when they took Peter into prison, the church prayed for him and an angel was released. So anytime we pray, angels are released to wage war. Acts chapter 12. What do you think? Oh, what do you think? Acts chapter 12, verse 5. Acts chapter 12, verse 5. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very Whilst Peter was in. Oh, church. Should I close? Whilst Peter was in. Whilst Peter was in. What prison? Sin prison. Prison of fornication. Prison of addiction. Prison of stealing. Prison of lying. Whilst Peter, who is a great apostle in the making, was in prison. There are many of our friends who are great in the spirit, but in the natural, they are bad. And they are in a prison. They are in a certain kind of prison. And a certain kind of demons surrounding them. Whilst Peter was in prison, the church prayed earnestly for him. But whilst Peter was in prison, the church prayed. The church did not criticize. The church prayed. Edna prayed. Pray. Mary Rose may be in a certain prison, but she may not tell you. So physically, she's walking about as a beautiful girl, but in the spirit, she may be addicted to something that she is battling with. 
But the moment my brother here begins to pray earnestly for her, the night before Peter was about to be placed on trial, he was asleep, chained between two soldiers. With others, look at verse 7. Look at the prayer of our brother. Look at the prayer of our brother. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. And suddenly, 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 why? Why was there a sudden? Why was there a sudden? There was a sudden release of angels because there was somebody praying. Anytime there are praying believers, there are release of angels. There are release of warrior angels, healing angels, deliverance angels. And may God anoint you to pray. Suddenly there was a bright light in the cell. An angel of the Lord stood before Mary or say. So that is why many people can't even tell how they change. Can you tell me how you changed? You can't tell it. Because probably when you asked, God worked on you. God broke the chains. Peter was asleep, right? But and whilst he was sleeping, prayers were working. Then suddenly, so I pray for you that your souls will respond to your prayers. And a mighty angel will be released. I release mighty angels into this commission. May they fight war for the souls. May they deliver souls. May they restore souls. In the name of Jesus. An angel of the Lord stood before Peter. And the angel tapped him on the side to awaken him. And said, quick, get up. And the chains fell off. Number one, God works when we pray. Number two, God opens doors through prayer. How many of you realize that when the angel tapped Peter, the angel said, quick, and the chains fell off. Get dressed and put on your sandals. And he did. Now put on your coat and follow me. And the angel ordered. Look at, look at verse 9. Uh -huh. So Peter left the cell following the angel. Peter left the so anytime we pray god opens doors yeah those who are in prison god can open their doors god can open business doors god can open family doors yes so god opens doors through prayer so you can write Acts chapter 12 verse 9 when the angel came the angel opened a door hallelujah number two, number three the heart of men is opened when we pray the heart of men is opened when we pray. Acts chapter 16 verse 13. Anytime you mention, whenever I'm praying, I say, Lord, I pray for precious. Do you know what God is doing? God will open a heart. That's what the Bible declares. That the heart of a man is in the hands of God. God opens the heart of men. Actually, now look at this. On the seventh day, we went a little away outside the city to a river bank where we supposed that some people met for prayer. And we sat down to speak with some women who had come together one of them was Lydia one of them was Lydia a merchant of expensive purple cloth and she was a worshiper of God now look at this part look at this part can we read it want to go Lord open her heart who opened the Lord was it the preaching anytime we pray God is the one who opens the heart of men yeah look at that the Bible says, and as she listened she didn't listen because they were eloquent she listened because the Lord opened their heart Yes. So as we are winning souls, we must pray that God should open the heart of men to listen to what he has given us. So God can give you a message, but he has to still work on the heart of men to listen to what he has given you. So it is not enough to produce product. Customers must come, but God is the one who must bring customers. So number, number four, demonic strongholds are broken through prayer. You realize that when Peter was, was placed in prison, the Lord sent... Anytime we pray, we are pulling down our strongholds. There are people whose minds are, are tied. Some people can tell you, I don't see anything wrong with fornication because they are mind. My God. Number five. Through prayer, God sends reaper angels. Mark 13, 27. Now, one of the things, me, I love the ministry of angels because they make the work easy. Angels, now when you order for delivery men, make the work easy, right? So angels are delivery men. They deliver your prayers quickly. May God assign to you an angel. Yeah. Remember last week, I sprinkled an oil on the altar. How many of you remember? And, and I said, there are healing at the altar. And a guy had an itchy eye. He came and tapped and boom, the power of God. I believe that was the touch of an angel. Now look at this. He will send forth his angels to gather together his chosen ones. So anytime we pray, God sends angels to gather. How many, how many, how many of you sell leaders like this one? Oh, how many sell leaders like this one? Before you go there, the people have already gathered. They are called Reaper Angels. Yes, I've told you the story of Pastor Aaron Fant, one of the great men in Tamale. One day God gave him one archangel. He went for a crusade and suddenly 3,000 people appeared. Yes. 
And that was what happened on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2, the Bible declares that and 3,000 men were warned. And I believe that that was as a result of the, the ministry of angels and the power of the Holy Ghost. And he will send. How would God send? God will only send when we pray. So Otis, pray that God will send reaper angels to Garden City Campus and reap and reap many young girls, many young beautiful girls who are wasting their life. Now, now, many, now if you want to leave TikTok, I'm going to give my TikTok account to somebody to handle. Because sometimes the things you see, there, it worries my heart. Many young beautiful girls who don't know that they are wasting. They rather think that you don't understand the systems. Running. Yeah, they don't. Some ladies who wear short skirts and they think it's fashion. It's not fashion. How do you tell when God opens your eyes in the way now, you begin to fear your body. You, you shy away from your body. Yeah. You shy. But Satan will make it. That's easy. Let me, let me show you one thing. Any lady who is not conscious of her body, there is a demon in you. Do you know why? In Mark chapter 5, when the madman of Gadara was delivered, the Bible says when he came into righteousness, he they clothed him. So demons make you expose what must be hidden. There is glory on every human being. So anytime you break the code of sinning, you become naked. That's what the Bible declares. When the Lord came to Adam and Eve, he said, well, he said we are naked. So Satan is a specialist in making people naked. So anytime you are, you are, you are okay showing your breast, know that there is a demon influencing you. And it's not normal. Because look at my mother here. Is she showing her breast? But now, what our mothers wear under is what our ladies wear outside. Yes. And they are shameless about it. And it's not them. There is a demon in them. And that is why suddenly, when anytime, one true son and some of people are born again is the way they dress. They change. That's what the Bible says. When the right man, when the madman of Gadara came into his senses, they put on him. He was in the right mind. The right mind means right dressing. Yeah. Yeah. And the crowds who gathered around Jesus and they were frightened when they saw the man who had been demon, who had been what? For he was sitting there fully, fully, come on church, fully, you see, many of you don't like this part, you know? Fully, half clothed. So the demons made him naked, but when God came, he clothed him. So what shows that God is in your life is the way you are covered. You are covered. You must cover your breast. I shouldn't see it. It is your husband who must only see there is an aspect of your life only God must see. No man must see it. That's why every man has a consecration. How many of you listened to uh, Hallelujah Challenge yesterday? This is Oh, many of you didn't listen. Uh, not, Pastor Nathan Abbasi. Hallelujah Challenge. When Apostle Jesus, someone raised funds for him, he said he won't take it. At the end, he said that is his consecration to the Lord. That means this what this man come. Apostle someone raised it for him. Who, he stood there and said, that's my, I beg your apostle, I love you, but this is my consecration to the Lord. That means this is, this is my purity, this is my sacrifice. Mumu be angazo apostle, say, may the Lord honor you. But that is his consecration. And let me tell you something true. Some of you, were, I taught somebody how to activate the ministry of angels. Angels like nice atmospheres. So sometimes when I'm there, I perfume my atmosphere. Spirit, do you know that snakes are invited by songs? Spirits have something that can invite them. The Holy Spirit likes clean atmosphere. Demons like dirty atmosphere. When we're a dirty girl, you'll be possessed. Bema, boss, I was to say, I was going to say, true prayers, God can appear to people in dreams. That's one of the things I love. One day I saw Jesus in my vision. Me, nobody can preach me out of Jesus. And when my father died, I preached them all. Some of you went something bad, small bad, I don't go to church, I don't go to church. Me, when my father died, the next Saturday I was preaching. Do you know why? What I have seen, no man can preach it out of my heart. I am not convinced to be a Christian. I'm convicted. It's two things. When I convince you, your mind can change. But when you're convicted, nobody can change. Muslims are convicted about their faith. That's why they can bomb themselves. Because they know that when they bomb, they can go to uh, heaven. But Christians, hey, who's your Christian name? Well, light, Allah, me, me, Christian, me, be a. Me, me, Christian, me, Allah, wa I say, Allah. When you pray for souls, they will have certain encounters. Apostle Paul, he had an encounter. And that encounter changed his life. As workers, as Christians, when we pray for souls, Jesus can appear to them in their vision. 